Where has the light gone? These seem like especially dark days. It's not just the lengthening shadows of the coming solstice. It's the darkness of the world around us. It's the dismal prospect of another Christmas upended by COVID. It's the gloom of the news on every screen around us. Wars and brutality and disaster and despair. Where has the light gone? We are seekers of light. All that we can see depends on the light, not just in the physical world. Our spiritual lives look for light too. The light of hope, the light of possibility, the light of acceptance, the light of forgiveness. Our souls need that light to flourish. No less than our bodies, our souls need light. We need examples of human kindness to shine on us. We need to be shown the light of reconciliation. We need to be warmed by the light of acceptance. There are a lot of ways of describing Advent. You can focus on the scriptural themes of the four Sundays. You can see it as an anxiety-provoking countdown. But whatever else it might be, Advent is a rebellion of light against the darkness. It is an insistence that even when the world grows darker, God's light, the light the darkness cannot overcome or understand, stays with us. It's no accident that the story of the first Christmas tells us that people who were in need of hope got up and started walking because they saw the light of a star and the radiant glory of an angel. It doesn't matter what was really in that sky. Whatever it was, it kindled the light of hope in the spirits of people who needed it. It seems so dark just now, but that just makes the light more noticeable and more profound when it appears. Now is the time to be watching for the light. And when we glimpse it, then we, just like those first shepherds sitting in darkness, must run to see it and to share it. So Merry Christmas. May Christ's light pierce the darkness of these dismal days, reviving our spirits and reflecting through us on a world still in the shadows of fear.